All right, come on. Scout. Slowly, carefully. Now my friends are flying planes stupidly dangerously through mountains. Welcome back to the mountains indeed. And well, we are right now approaching a very special airport that I guess most of you should already know. Of course, Blue Claw Airport. Yes. You know, really, I'm starting to know the facts of this airport by heart. I mean, literally, I've made so many videos about this airport. I mean, you know, this has got a 600 meter long runway. We are here very close to the Mount Everest here in the Nepalese mountains. And while we're actually even now inside of a plane that flies in real life here in the flight simulator of course the dhc6 twin otter you know a plane that doesn't really need a runway which is a good start we try to go land here all right here we go let's go ahead and touch down quickly there we go that's been a bit of a hard landing something that well the passengers here are used to and especially the runway by the way that's been a very very quick stop here we go yeah this has been a typical luke cloud landing a little bit hard but not you know very much survivable totally fine the landing isn't really the most dangerous part about this airport it's you know about not making it to the runway for example something that can very easily happen is maybe like a little bit of a stall oh right here yeah yeah, with this little plateau that is here, um, that, you know, that the runway is located on, it's not very easy to land a plane here, like, at all. Also, the weather here is quite challenging, but of course, we have done thousands of videos on Lukla Airport. It's time for a new replacement. Yes, everybody, indeed, it's time to replace this interesting air... Look, look at this fire engine. I'm gonna quite miss it. Anyway, we're gonna find our replacement, Lukla, all the way also here in Southeast Asia, but now, well, in Indonesia, or on Indonesia, and it's called Karu Baga. All right, so welcome to Indonesia. And well, just looking at the ramp, before we talk about the runway, doesn't the ramp look rather similar to Lukla? Maybe even a little bit smaller than Lukla. Let's check out the runway. And yes, just like Lukla, we're also on a little bit of a small runway that is on a literal mountain. I don't know whose idea it was, you know, in the history of colonization of Southeast Asia to build literal villages, literal colonies on mountains, but here we go. No, we're not in any kind of valley. We are literally on a mountain. Even though, honestly, I would say this runway is maybe a little bit longer than Lukla. This is at least like 2,500 feet. Yeah. You know what? I think we can actually fly some big planes here even. L look at this airport. All right. Let's maybe start here with this DHC-6 Twin Otter, which as you might expect shouldn't be a problem. We're actually spawned into this very bad approach, 160 knots, but that's no problem for this plane either. We can just simply put on the mid-flight reverse thrust. Who cares? I mean, who's going to see it? And let's just come down here onto the runway. This is very simple. Yes, here we go. Bit of a touchdown. Perfect. Let's say the thing. You cannot really make a hard landing here in the stage 6 Twin Otter, can you? There we go. Yes. I mean, look at this. This has gone well. There we go. Good. Of course, very, very easy. We might just want uh, some, some bigger planes here, actually. I mean, what kind of big planes fly here in real life? This is Karubaga Airport on Google. Yeah, it uh, truly doesn't seem like a very, very simple airport to fly to. Here's one picture here of a pilot here at Karabuga Airport with a PC-12 in the background, which is compared to the DHC-6 Twin Otter, a similarly sized plane also with a turboprop engine. Other than that, there's not really much to find out about this airport. There's no Wikipedia. We cannot really see which airlines fly here either. This is interesting. All we can see is the elevation of 3,300 meters, which is very high of airport, my god. And the 14 Google reviews. Airports in remote areas have minimal or no proper supporting facilities. The airport is not in a flat location, but in natural conditions, it is difficult to make a good airport. Well, it's on a mountain! Great reviews right here, this is just fun. Alright, so it's time to try out ourselves, I guess, which airplanes can fly here. Interesting. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and actually start with something a little bit spicy. Welcome aboard the CJ4. Says now, it's a, it's a jet. A plane that could never really fly at Lukla, I guess. But let me try it out here at the Indonesian version of Lukla. Here we go. Let's release the parking brake. Fire off <clears throat> down the runway. And damn, this is actually quite a bit of a slope indeed. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'm, 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 I'm hoping the runway doesn't really look like this in real life. There's some really, really sharp, like, bumps. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. That's been a takeoff. You know, this actually kind of slope runway here that we have here at this... Uh, what's, what's this called again? Kapkarubaga Airport. You know, it kind of helps increase the performance performance of the aircraft generally taking off or landing maybe try a landing actually as well you know what for a jet this is actually going quite well yes maybe this is not only the indonesian version of lukla but also a little bit of more you know accessible version of lukla go give it a bit of power okay here we go yes oh 
All right. All right, that's been a bit of a landing. Let's go and stop again with the slope runway. It does really help. Here we go. We are stopping quite nicely here, running up the mountain. In fact, it's really important now to not go for a full stop. Otherwise, we're not actually going to make it up the mountain, right? Here we go. Yes. Give in a little bit of power. This has gone very well here. All right. So Karabuga Airport or whatever it's called is private jet approved. Give it a bit of a replay here as well. This landing, it hasn't even been super hard. Not like a carrier landing where everyone on board would just like die. I have a whip slash. This has gone well. Here we go. All right. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, some jet airliners. Who cares after all? All righty. Maybe it's time to try this plane right here, the crappy regional jet. Now, full concentration is needed. Let's maybe try to make this. Not quite sure. Yeah. All right. Let's make sure not to stall out before the runway starts. That's very important. Okay, that's been a hard landing. All right, here we go. But that's been a landing, and we are actually... Wait, no, we're stopping. We're stopping, and we don't even use reverse thrust. Yes! Everybody, I'm starting to really like this airport. You know, I actually do see this slope is actually quite a lot harsher than Luke Club, which is why these planes are stopping so quickly. Here we go. Let's try a bigger one. This is actually apparently no problem at all. Let's go. What am I doing? Great. All right, see. Airbus time. May 320 time. Which is always a great time. You know what? I'm starting to realize this is probably not a very good idea. Anyway, let's do this. Yeah, it's coming down now onto this runway. This will be a great one. I would hope. I would guess. Okay, let's... Oh, my God, that lag. Did you guys see that? All right, let's go and stop now here on this runway. This has not been very good landing. Jesus Christ. All right, there we go. Let's stop, stop, though. What the hell has that been? You know, yeah, you know what? My computer's kind of performing questionably. Anyway, what has been quite nice here of a performance has been this landing, hasn't it? Yes, I mean, look at that. All right, that's been a bit of a proper land. That's been all right. Okay, that's been fine. But what has really been great here, well, was the stop. This is quite ridiculous, this runway. Yes, you know, this absolute slope that we have here, this pretty much uphill landing. Landing is really helping quite a lot. Oh, sorry, just crashed. All right then, maybe it's time to try a bigger plane. I mean, what? This is this is kind of crazy, isn't it? Yes, everybody. All righty. So this is the 787, a plane that can practically fly around the world. So yes, if we're able to land this plane down here on this little runway, then that would mean that we could fly around the world, probably maybe like from Amsterdam with a direct flight just to this airport. I mean, how about that? I mean, I can imagine you can fill up this plane with like many 300 people just to go here this would be a perfect idea maybe you could even you know use this airport as a bit of a hub you know or maybe like a pilot training hub or something like that anyway let's maybe try to come in for a bit of a landing we're a little bit fast but this will be totally fine here we go this is practically now an enormous runway isn't it after all all right come on let's go slowly carefully never mind Okay, it's been a bit of a harder one. Let's go ahead and stop now here on this runway, which I think will go well. Come on, you can do it. You know what? This is a pretty good slope. Yes. All right, we're actually getting a little bit closer with this one. But here we go. <laughs> this is just absolutely ridiculous. Great. I don't even know what to say, man. Well, you know what? This is either proof that, well, we can actually both, you know, serve this place from around the world with airplanes or that the flight simulator's physics are not quite realistic. I mean, look at this one. Bit of a hard landing, you know, maybe not something would do any every every day with this one but there we go this has been a very very nice stop we stopped very much nicely if we go nicely use that runway which is quite interesting because you know if we were trying to turn to the left now then we're gonna crash into that building but that's another story this has gone very well hasn't it all right triple <clears throat> seven which basically has the performance of a elephant you wouldn't land this plane on short runway let me just say that anyways maybe try the absolute limits of this elephant indeed land it down here come on all right let's come in for, for a bit of a landing come on all right let's pull up all the way. Oh my god, let's not crash again. Okay. That's been a stop. Okay, that's been a bit of a hard landing. Let's go ahead and stop all the way into the brakes, into the hammer. Oh goodness. Yes. Are we stopping though? <gasps> you have to be kidding me. All right. Hey, what a great operation. I mean, seriously, how did this just work? I mean, we kind of broke the landing gear, I think, on that impact. I think we didn't even land on the runway properly. All right, a bit of a grass right there, but that's no problem. We've stopped, which is kind of the point, isn't it? Yes. Look at that, and a nice stop here as well. Good. Almost hit that building here as well. The problem really here is the building, indeed, isn't it? Ah, uh, I might just get around it. That's that's fine. Oh, never mind. So yes, everybody, landing absurdly large planes here in this Papua Airport. This is Swiss's Air One approved. Maybe Karubaga Airport has what it takes to become the next 
Lou Cloud. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Loser, One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.